Hello and welcome to Aging is for Everyone. I'm Laura Mondello, I'm your host for the show. You may have heard about the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, but how much do you really know about it? Well, here to tell us a little bit more and pique your interest is Patrick Whalen, who is the Chief Operating Officer of the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Welcome, Pat. Thank you, thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. Um, Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, you're sort of the big picture guy who can give us that overview of what is the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus and where is it? and. Uh, just let us know. Okay, well, it's three things. Mm -hmm. We uh, talk about this a lot. We talk a lot in the suburbs, and it's uh, always surprising to me at um, how much people don't know about the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. But when we say it's three things, it's a physical place, first of all. It's basically roughly bounded by Main Street, Michigan, North Street, and, and Tupper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a physical place, 120 acres, and um, it's also an organization that I work for. It's a small not-for-profit organization. We've got about 20 people, and we look after a lot of the uh, grunt work that needs to go on behind the scenes on a medical campus, uh, so things like parking and landscaping and public safety, things like that. Uh, probably most importantly, though, it's a, it's, it's a collaboration among nine member institutions, and mm -hmm. those member institutions all have two seats on our board of directors and our board of directors gives us direction as to what we should do to make a world-class medical campus. Mm -hmm. I should also mention that the board of directors includes uh, our neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. the, to our east is the Fruit Belt neighborhood, to the west is the Allentown neighborhood, and those two neighborhoods also have seats on our board. So right now, we've uh, just finished about $500 million of construction on the campus. Uh, mostly by the member institutions. Our organization has constructed a little bit of space, but most of the, the uh, activity on the campus is done by our member institutions. And um, <clears throat> in Buffalo, as we all know, there's a lot of times where it's difficult to get things done. Mm -hmm. But on the medical campus, we've been able to get this $500 million worth of construction finished and opened and it's about two million square feet of space and there's really not a lot of um, knowledge about this because mm -hmm. our neighbors have been involved at the, in the process so there hasn't been a lot of opposition in fact there hasn't been any opposition so um, the, uh, the member institutions are the ones that drive the, uh, the, the growth of the campus I should mention who they are mm -hmm. the big three would be uh, household names to probably all your listeners Kaleida Roswell Park Cancer Institute and the University of Buffalo. But there's mm -hmm. six smaller member institutions and they uh, are e not equally important, but they're very important uh, contributors to the overall campus. Right, right. Now, what are some of the things that, you know, you mentioned the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus is more than just a place, that there's also initiatives that you work out. What are some of the important, you know, initiatives that you're involved with, with, you know, um, entrepreneurship, healthy communities, that type of thing? Well, that, um, I think the mission of the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, as established by our board 10 years ago, uh, was to transform Western New York in, into the knowledge economy. So, and it's really economic development is our, at our base. Uh, the member institutions all have their own missions and goals, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of the things that aren't core to them. As I said before, some of the things would be landscaping and parking and things like that. But one of the other things that's really not core to our member institutions is entrepreneurship and growing private sector companies. Mm -hmm. And if we're gonna redevelop the Western New York economy, it really boils down to private sector job growth. Mm -hmm. So the job growth that, that's happening right now at Collida or Roswell UB is great. Everybody loves it, of course. But uh, if we're gonna transform the economy, it's gotta be something way beyond the growth, job growth at those member institutions. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of things to foster entrepreneurships. As you probably can, uh, realize there's an awful lot of research that goes on the campus. Right. So that research usually or oftentimes uh, results in a product. Mm -hmm. The product then can be developed into a company and one of the things we do is help those companies grow so that we can create private, private sector jobs in, in, in Western New York. Mm -hmm. The uh, other things we do, you're gonna hear later from Jesse Hersher who works with, uh, with the medical campus on a citywide initiative called Healthy Kids, Healthy Communities. And we do other, other things that may be 
most, some people would think stretch the boundaries of what our mission would be, but our mission really is to develop a world-class medical campus. We can't have a world-class medical campus, campus unless we have a vibrant city around it. So right. we really are working outside of the boundaries of that 120 acres in order to develop the entire city. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned that the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus is 120 acres, but you're bounded by, by communities. What do you do and how do you impact the communities and how are you working to help better the communities that surround you? Well, again, well, one of the things we do is really strive to make sure that our, our the people that live in the neighborhoods around our campus are aware of job opportunities on the campus. Mm -hmm. We really need to make sure that the that the 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 job opportunities and the economic development activity that is happening on the campus extends uh, to our to our neighbors. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's one example. Another example would be the Healthy Kids, Healthy Communities initiative that Jenny, Jesse will talk about. Mm -hmm. um, Jesse's been involved in the in the Buffalo Green Code, which is a re, uh, really a rewrite of the Buffalo City um, building codes. And one of the things we want to do with uh, with um, as the city gets redeveloped is mm -hmm. to make sure that it's possible for people to walk and ride bikes right. uh, and do and participate in healthy activities. So uh, initiative we have on the campus right now that's underway is a redevelopment of Ellicott Street which is really the main drag town in the center of the campus. Mm -hmm. And that project is uh, about a 15 million dollar project with money coming from the federal government primarily through the city of Buffalo and we're redeveloping Ellicott Street into a two-way street but most importantly with a 35 foot wide linear park that really runs the length of the campus so we wanted to make sure when we develop that that, that 35 foot park mm -hmm. there's a walking um, meandering path so that people can walk between mm -hmm. buildings instead of taking their cars. So really you're incorporating the campus into the community and, and merging the two almost. Yes, that's very important to us. It's absolutely critical that we have a healthy community surrounding the medical campus. Uh, at the end of the day, it's um, even the research depends on clinical activity. We mm -hmm. can't have cl cl clinical activity if people are afraid or reluctant to come down to the medical campus. Right. So one of the initiatives we really work on is to make sure people know how safe it is mm -hmm. um, and to make it as inviting as possible. So those suburbanites that need cancer care or stroke care or whatever right. kind of health care they need are uh, encouraged to come down to the medical campus. Great. We really, everything revolves around the patient. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for being with us. And we do have your website that people can go to for more information as well about the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Okay, thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us, Pat. We'll be right back with more Aging is for Everyone.
that is of interest, you think, to the, what the green code is, is it? it's...